loose man. Today's topics was Should school bullies do community service? Should women be allowed to play Father Christmas? And has vegan protesters gone too far? On today's panel was Kay Adams Linda Robson Janet Street Porter and Stacy Solomon Now with me, Ashley Gardner Today's guests was Biggins and Boyzone So I haven't done this for a while, um, for a long time actually, so I thought I'd better do one. Um, so today, um, a row over the gender of Father Christmas has erupted in a town in Northern England after a woman was chosen to play the festive figure. Um, a member of the local community traditionally uh, travels around Newton I Cliff, sorry if I got that wrong, dressed as Father Christmas on the 24th of December. Um, the town council will vote on the matter after two women, um, two women put their name forward for the role. And one of them was um, granted permission to dress up as Father Christmas. Um, the volunteer will not be called Mother Christmas, um, but will be dressed as a man. So, should women be allowed to play Father Christmas? Do you think it's, this is uh, equal rights, or is it equality gone mad? Um, I think it's ridiculous, people kicking up a fuss about this. Um, but I do get where people are coming from, like, uh, kids know Father Christmas is a man, so why would you have a woman dressed as Father Christmas? Um, which, uh, this, that's what, uh, Linda was saying on the show today. But, I completely agree with Stacey. They'd be wearing an outfit, and, to be honest, if they can do a deep voice... I don't really see the problem in it, really. If they're going to dress up like a man, then it shouldn't matter. Um, they done a vote, a poll on it, and 88% of viewers think it's a man's role. Um, so, that's that. Uh, they also was talking about uh, festive must-haves, and Kay showed a toaster... Which warms up beans. And I don't know if that I don't know if that one cooks egg as well. Um, but yeah, Kate obviously loves it because she absolutely loves her gadgets. But the rest of the panel <laughs> didn't like it at all. Um, and they were talking the other, about other gadgets they got, like um, what was one of them? Um, something to do with egg. Um, uh, take the shell off a boiled egg. Um, so, yeah, which really, you don't really need a gadget to do that, because it takes a minute, or it takes, well, less than a minute to take a shell off an egg. So you don't really need a gadget for that, but. Um, so, there was a video shown on today's Loose Women, um, where vegans was outside, um, I think it was a steakhouse in Brighton, with signs and shouting, um, and about not killing animals and stuff. And also at the time, there was a stag do in there. Shouting, stand up if you love red meat. Um, I think it's absolutely pathetic why people do all these protests for. No matter how many times you protest, you're not going to force people to become vegans. We are a meat-loving country. Whether you like it or not... 
and that will never change. Um, and I think it's important to show kids today where our meat comes from, and then they can make an informed decision whether to eat meat or no. Whether they want to eat it is up to them. Um, I think it's just it's getting beyond a joke now. All these protests, vegans protesting. Um, I just think it's absolutely pathetic, and I think they need to stop because they they're not going to get anywhere by doing it. Um, so, a principal in Newcastle uh, has proposed uh, to introduce a community service, such as litter picking in high-vis vests for school bullies. Um, so, is it time to use community service to punish school bullies? And should there be more discipline in schools for bad behaviour? Well... You all know, obviously, I'm completely against bullying on all levels. And I've done petitions and everything up on it. Um, I think it needs talked about more and more. Especially in all schools, including primary schools. Um, but to be honest, I do not think there is enough passion, passionate people out there to help stop this. Um, I think the reason why... Uh, kids don't speak out about being bullied. Yeah, they're scared. But nothing happens. They just they they just speak to the people that's doing the bullying, and that's it. They don't get punished for it. Um, and it's like um, a, a de detention for what hour or something after school. That ain't gonna that ain't gonna solve anything. Um, and. I completely agree with Stacey. It cannot be one thing for every, everyone, this community service. Um, because some people, some kids, community service won't stop them doing what, it, what they're doing. Um, and if it doesn't stop them doing what they're doing, then I think they should be locked up for at least 24 hours, 48 hours, no phone, no communication with the outside world, to show them that if you carry on doing this, this is what will happen to you. And see what happens. Because we need to stand up to these bullies and show you cannot do it. Um, so they've done a poll asking, um, should a community service be given to uh, school bullies? And 98% agree that, yes, it should happen, which is brilliant. Um, next up, Christopher Biggins came on and said he um, had some breaking news. And that Janet kissed him. <laughs> um, I think you better put it on the calendar. Um, he was saying he um, went to this camp and he fastened for 10 days. Um, but he recommended not to do it at home. He was there, he was supervised and everything else. <clears throat> um, and he's been doing a lot of work with diabetes. Um, also Linda told him to do some yoga. So she showed him, um, I think it was a tree pose. Um, and obviously they had to talk about, uh, I'm a celebrity. And something he said kind of, um, I think, got Kay to quickly try and get off that subject, um, about Gillian McKeith, I think it was about her, um, he was saying if, uh, sh if he was in there the same year as she was, he wouldn't know where to bury her and everything else, and yeah, I think that was wrong, for, wrong of him to say that, even, even though he was... He was joking, but it, I think that's still wrong for him to do that, say that. Um, and also, he is playing uh, Widow Twanky in Panther this year. Um, and after that, Boyzone uh, came on to talk about their last ever album, Saying Goodbye. Um, their 25th year. Um... I've been brought up with it, their music. I've listened to it, and and 
one song on here they paid a uh, tribute to Stephen Gately, who was in the band who sadly uh, who sadly died a while ago, well quite a few years ago now. Uh, by putting his voice on one of the songs, um, which is one of his songs. Um, they've never heard it before. So his voice is, I think they said it's the chorus. Um, and yeah, so it's going to be really nice to listen to that CD uh, when it's out. Uh, so yeah, and that was the end of today's Loose Man. So thank you for watching and comment your thoughts on today's topics and don't forget to share and like